Hello everybody, this is Taylor with the FDC Gaming Community with another d Exile tutorial video on how to do stuff with an Exile server. Today I, I'm going to show you another headless client, but this time it's going to be for FUMS mod. Okay, first things first, you want to download the mod, which I'll put a link in. And as you can tell, I've already put it in the mission file and also put it in here and already edit it you know the way I wanted it to do the missions I wanted to pop up and all that good basic stuff so first things first I'm going to show you how to put in a headless client so what you want to do is go into your editor into the map you want So now we're just waiting on the map to load up. Slow, isn't it? Nope, oh, there we go. Now we want to open the map that we want, which I already have mine saved. And let's wait on this part to load up. Now, map. Zoom in. And as you can tell, I've already put it here. So what I'm going to do is delete this. Save the map. Now, I'm going to show you how to put it in. You want to click on F5. That'll bring up the systems tab. Then go to logistics entry. Then virtual intro entries and then headless client. Now, like I said in my A3XAI video, most mods you know already have a name picked out, so this one will be called. Sorry about that. Is HC underscore HAL. You want to make sure it's playable. Click on that and then click save. Now we can exit out of this because that part's done. And then minimize this. Now what you want to do is go to where after you edit a map where it goes. Most times it's in your documents folder under Arma 3 other profiles. Then choose your profile and then missions and here. Now because this mod requires you to use Ryan zombies and stuff like that it's best to as you can see here to have Ryan zombies Ryan zombies functions animation and faces on whoops so what we want to do is copy that then choose a spot here where it says add-ons and then add it in now there's another thing you also want to do is you want to scroll all the way down to where your headless client is and then you need to change one thing for some reason it does not put it in the right order and trust me if you don't change this to the following number after this it'll you'll get an error and your headless client will not work it took me quite a while to figure out why it wasn't working and after I figured it out I figured it out so now that's done we want to save it exit out of this and here is my missions as you can tell I've already copied it over and everything this is the one that's in my missions tab and as you can tell I changed the number and everything and same name as before so we close that now I go into my startup thing and I want to add in I went ahead and renamed my Ryan Zombies and or Z Zombies and Demons to just Zombies. And then you also in server mod want to add in that. Now all that's done. The next thing you want to do is go here to Armor 3 server, right click on it and then send to desktop create a shortcut. Minimize, close close then what you want to do 
I like renaming it, you know, so it, it'll be whatever. And as you can tell, I already got one created. So then what you want to do is right click on it, go to properties, and then just pass on target. You want to add, hang on, where'd it go? Is this line right here? These are just notes I left for myself. <laughs> Is this, you know, dash client, dash no sound, dash, and this part right here is important. If you have your headless client on a separate machine to where your server is, you want to put in the IP address for your server. But if you're running your IP at, if you're sorry, if you're running your headless client on the same machine as your server, then you just you know want to put in 127.0.0.1, and then you put your port. And because my server, my test server has a password, you know you want to you know type dash password and then whatever password is and then for the mods you want to put in exile and then zomb and you know ryan's and zombies and then create a profile which i went ahead and you know created profile with a sub profile all right now that that's done yes i want to save it now because i fixed the other map And just to show you, I already have it all in right here. And then after that's done, what you want to do next is go to wherever your server config file is. And then you want to make sure you put in local client headless client whatever IP address like I said before mines on the same machine as my server and then you want to make sure you put a battleized license in there or your headless client won't be able to connect and after all said and done plus make sure you got the right map because I kept testing 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 and gonna find out my dumb ass forgot to put the right map in so after all that said and done, then what you want to do next is some people say you know you have to start your headless client before you start your server. Actually, it really doesn't matter because I've done it both ways and it still works. So I start the headless client and then I start the server. While that's booting up, I'm going to go ahead and get on to the server. Minimize this. Wait for everything to pop up. All right, there's the headless client starting up. As you can tell, it's connecting. Let me pull up the server. as you can tell that's done now it's saying player headless connect load in the profile now I'm just waiting for the server to unlock Obviously, the headless client connected, and now my server unlocked. So now, what you want to do is I go into my server. Just wait for this to load up now.
All right, server's loading up. Hit OK. Now to stand there for a second because for some reason it freezes for about a second. Now, open up the map. Wait for everything to do its business. Now I'm going to show you that everything's working. Sorry, that was my laptop booting up. We go here and here. First, I'm going to show you the headless client mod. As you can tell, it's been doing stuff. I like scrolling from the, to the bottom. So yeah, as you can tell, it started initiating. Ran on the server. Blah 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 blah. Pretty much everything's running. Now we go up here. Waiting on serve, server token. Waiting on server token. Receive data from server. See? Headless client connected. So now we close this out. Close this out, this out. Now we go to the server. Of course. I have to figure out why they keep doing that. Don't worry, that won't happen, y'all. For some reason, mine keeps saying that something to do with my memory on my game. Probably all the freaking servers I got hooked up to this damn thing. All right, now to continue showing you this. Everything's working. Network message pending. As you can tell here, these initiated. Initiated. I have no idea what these are, but I'm going to look it into it, find out what it is. Oh, well, that's the problem right there. My zombie mod must not have uh, engaged. That's exactly what it is. My zombie mod for the server didn't engage very well. That's why none of the missions were popping up yet. Oh, seriously. Mostly what happens when I do that, I, I just restart my server, and then all these go bye-bye. And just to prove that, I'll show you the last one before this one. Oh, it was doing on this too. That explains why there was no sound last time. I'll have to look into that, find out why that's not working. Or if there's an update for it. I just don't know about it. But other than that, as you can tell, it's working, so. Let me go back into the map.
Why did I pop up? I didn't tell it to pop up. And as you can tell, there's the mod, and it's working. Helicopter crash. Zombies, zombies. And for some reason, I got crappy lag now. Huh. I'll put this on my main server, and show y'all how it is. I think it's lagging because of the because it's on the same PC. That's my game itself. This is zombie invasion. I have no idea what this bad boy is. Let's take a look. Watch me get my ass handed to me. Ooh. I'm coming to kill you. Huh. Are they walking each other out? Yeah. It's because, uh, it's because of the lag. Yeah, see, signature type timed out all right but anyway as you can tell it was working and i think it was bogging down because you know i got like literally crap load of programs going on at once on my computer so all right well thanks for watching uh email me if you have any problems i'll put my email address inside the description and everything i use to you know edit the maps and everything well, thanks for watching